Hello everyone, this is Highlander doing another MTGC custom magic card review. Today we are reviewing Calling Invocation by Cadsar369. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this card. So this is a 7 mana sorcery, uh, rare, costs 1 less for each target. You can't choose more targets than the total amount of generic mana required to cast this spell. Choose any number of target creatures controlled by target player. Exile each other creature that player controls. Okay, let me, sorry. The wording on this one is a little complex, so let me reread this and really digest it. Okay, so you can choose up to five targets. Costs one less for each target. Choose any number of target creatures, exile each other creature. I see. Okay, so this is basically a board wipe, except you can cast it for cheaper uh, by preserving... Yeah, okay. No, okay, so this is a one-sided board wipe, in fact. So this is a one-sided board wipe for seven mana that you can preserve some of their creatures to make it cheaper. I see. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, it's very powerful. Like, even at seven mana, like if, if you just cast this at seven and you just wipe their side of the board, that's already very good. Um, like, even in limited, I would probably play this card. Like, seven, seven, seven mana, like, okay, sorry. Let's say let's say that this text didn't exist, that the, the cost reduction didn't exist. Even in limited, I would play this at seven mana. I mean, a seven mana like one sided board wipe is crazy strong, and it exiles too. It doesn't even destroy. Um, so yeah, that's good. Now you throw in this cost reduction, uh, uh, like on top of it, it gets even better because now all of a sudden you can like. Uh, you know, let's say they have, like, a couple tokens in play. You could just say, all right, well, you keep those tokens. They're irrelevant, and now this thing costs, like, five mana to one-sided board wipe. Wow. Um, that's really strong. Yeah, I mean, this this card feels more like a mythic to me. Uh, yeah, so, I mean... as. As far as the design itself of this card, um, I think it's it's pretty cool. Like I I like I like this cost reduction thing. The wording's a little a little complex. Um, so there might be a better way to word this to where it, it like reads a little bit easier. Um, for example, you could say like you know choose up to up to five targets target player controls uh the spell costs one less for each target chosen of course uh, the, you know it's it's not i i know it, it wouldn't it wouldn't behave perfectly that way because like you know if 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 this is like cost reduced by like something else or the cost increased by something else then like it wouldn't quite function the same way um but you know, some—I mean, sometimes you have to like make concessions like that, right? I mean, yes, it it, it it won't behave like perfectly, but it'll behave good enough, and you'll you'll reduce the complexity of the card, and sometimes that's worth it, right? Um, so yeah, I think I—I I mean, I like the card. I like the design of the card. Um, I'm definitely gonna nitpick it a little bit. I I. I have three issues with this card, okay? First is is that it is I think it's way it's really powerful. I think it's too powerful for a rare. Oh, oh like board wipes themselves are generally rares, okay? Um this is a one-sided board wipe that exiles, okay? And can be cost reduced. So to me this seems like a mythic for sure. Um like I would I would hate playing against this card in 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 limited. Uh, e even at, like at rare rarity, you're actually going to see it enough times that you're just going to roll your eyes every time somebody casts this, and you're just going to say, "Well, I lost." 
they killed my entire board and, and then they attacked me for lethal, right? Like, it, th this kind of effect is better at a mythic. Um, I, my second issue with it is the is like I mentioned the the wording. I think maybe that could be that could be adjusted a bit. Um, and then my third issue is that it exiles too. So I'm not gonna say black never exiles things, but it's more common that it destroys. Um, I, uh, there is I think there's another board wipe that exiles um, Scryfall. What is it? E extinction event I think. Extinction event. Yeah, exile. I mean, I know that they do that kind of thing. Okay, so maybe the exile is not so bad. It, it just like makes the card like even better, right? Like that. That's that's kind of like my issue is that this card is so strong. Um, but design wise, I think it's neat. I definitely think it's neat. Um, you know. This card could even be even be neat as as a like even even if you made this card, I mean you have a lot of knobs to turn on this card, right? Like you could make it more expensive, uh, you could make it cost more black so that you can't reduce it as much. I mean the thing is like you'll probably never reduce this by five and cast it for two. Like you don't really want to preserve five of their creatures. Um, you know, like I said, I think I think in most cases you're you'll probably play this for like five mana uh maybe four um but like you know you want to kill as many creatures po as possible with this right so you can just kill them so like i would most of the time cast this for seven like unless unless i was um like really behind and i needed like an emergency but th this card doesn't do a very good job if you're behind to be honest because at least at least by making it cheaper because you know the more the the cheaper it gets the worse the effect and therefore the less it saves you from dying which is generally what you want a board wipe to do so this is really this is really sort of like a way to just like you've got a board they've got a board kill all their stuff that matters and then attack them for a bunch of mana that's kind of the way this this card plays out so um Anyway, those are my thoughts on this card. Uh, I'm going to give this card... It's t this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Because I, I think the design... Yeah, after thinking about this, I think I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. Um, I I'll say I like I like the idea of this card a lot. Like, the, the like co letting them keep some creatures, the cost reduction, right? Like, but... Thinking about it more, like the fact that it doesn't really help you that much, as much when you're behind, um, the fact that when you, when you cast it at seven mana, it literally wins you the game most of the time. Um, you know, now I know Cadstar is a commander player, so I'm sure that this is aimed more towards commander. In which case, like, you're probably playing this for seven really often a commander right i mean i'm not a commander player but you go you go you get pretty high mana values in commander right um so this is just a one-sided board wipe like that's got to be good enough to just kill somebody even at 30 life right or 40 commander it's 30 right or is it 40 like uh, it might be 40 um jeez, i don't even know that's pathetic i have to i have to find that out commander life total 40. Okay, I'm sorry. That's pathetic. You can tell how little I play, play Commander. Um, yeah, I'll give this card a 3 out of 5. Um, this part is... This this cost reduction is fairly unique. That's my favorite part about it. But it kind of non-bows with the effect. In the, I mean, it's supposed to, right? But in the sense that uh, when you need the cost reduction... It, like, it, it just makes the card worse in those situations that you're probably most of the time just going to cast this for seven. Um, ah, but it is one-sided. 
I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, this, this is a tough one to evaluate, but I definitely think I I 100 think this should be mythic. Um, I, I think I think at rare this is just way too good. Um, yeah. So that's my review. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Um, Cad Star, feel free to uh, respond and and you know fight back a little bit. Let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.